Government of everything. Yeah. Yes, big up CLE, Salam Alaikum, peace and blessings to everybody out there. Um, big up my sister Rashma, introduce yourself sis. My name is Rashma Akhtar, I've come to Sports Corner to give to hear uh, debates as well. Yeah. Betty. Um, my name is Betty, I'm known as Betty's Closet Online. So I'm really happy to have two females beside me today. If you heard a couple of my videos previously, I was trying to encourage more females to come and luckily Betty has come to join us here today. Um, I think it's very, very important to have a female presence in this park. And me and myself being here six months, I've struggled a lot. I found out my voice is constantly being drowned out. I'm constantly being silenced. I'm constantly being sexualized. I'm constantly being disrespected. But that won't stop the fight. You understand what I'm saying to you? And I've spoken to Betty many, many times. And she's also a really, really strong female. And I think it's really good for her to be here today because there's a lot of female issues that need to be discussed. You know, um, when we speak about the sexualization of females, that's a very big issue, you know, because a lot of women have a lot of insecurities because of the stereotype of how a woman should be. Now, we are not trying to live up to that stereotype, you know, we're not trying to be sexy or good looking to please a man. We're not here to show our bodies in front of people. This is Speaker's Corner. We have ideas, we have opinions that we want to express ourselves in, in a safe environment. And like I said, since I've been here, I've just received a lot of sexual comments, you know, you're fat, you're ugly, and a lot of other females won't come here when they see that sort of stuff. And because I've got a thick skin, I can handle it. But there's a lot of females that don't have thick skin, you know? I don't know. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah because this is the, the thing that, you know, if a, a woman is sexualized, whether if a woman is not sexually attractive, then her opinion should not be listened to. It's the F appeal. You know, women make up 50% of the world's population. There's no man that got on this planet without coming through a woman, yeah? yeah. But women's opinions are uh, demeaned. Yeah, they're constantly sexualized, intimidation, you know, harassment, you know, and it's about this time for a change. Yeah. Now, what we want to do is call women to the park so we can have a women's circle and so we can talk about issues that affect us from a female perspective. Yeah. So I would ask the sisters to come to the park, you know. I absolutely agree with Betty, you know, because um, I'm a Muslim, she's a Muslim, Betty, I think you're a Christian, Christian. She's, she's a black lady, I'm an Arab lady, she's a Bengali lady, you know, we don't care about what race or creed or religion you're from, this is about women's issues and I'm sure that no matter where you're from as females, we can always relate because we're females, we have so many things that we can discuss that we can all, regardless of religion or faith, that we can all relate upon, you know, and I think, you know, sexualization of females, it's become very prevalent, you know, within yes. media, within music videos, within the film industry, without Hollywood. And a lot of females don't want to live up to that expectation. That's okay. And I feel like, you know, I hate when women get drowned out and silenced because they don't have the sex appeal, you know, because I don't feel like sex appeal is all that a woman needs to get far in life. You know, you have a lot of um, successful women that are not sexy, but they are very intelligent. They are very knowledgeable. They're very hardworking. And we're trying to kind of break that barrier. You understand what I'm saying? Because I think that barrier definitely needs to be broken because a lot of females do self-harm, they do commit suicide, they, yes. they suffer from high anxiety because and of society. Have, you know, anorexia. Right. There are many women that suffer from anorexia, believe me, trying to live up to this, um, like this Barbie image, yeah? And it's the mental health of the woman. How many women have died because they're trying to be sexy? Yeah. There's more to a woman than what she looks like and what she can provide a man sexually. Yeah. You know, we're carers, we're mothers, we're sisters, we're cooks. There's so many things that we can do as women. You know, the Speaker's Corner is a place where the suffragettes came and got the women's vote, yeah? Women died for the vote. And, but that is forgotten. You know, when you come to Speaker's Corner, you hardly see any women. And if the women do come, they're too scared to speak. Because when they have spoken, they've got to look at all the comments, you know, get back in the kitchen, you know, you're ugly, you're this and that. Do you know what I mean? So it takes a really strong woman to do that. But please think about what you do to women. Because there's women that will generally uh, think that the, all they have to offer this world is their body. Yeah. And, and end up dying, yeah, you know, not agree. eating. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I mean, you know, things like body shaming, you know, you're too fat and you're too this and you're too that, you know, and women have died getting surgery trying to fix their bodies. Yes. You know, um, plastic surgeons, they profit of a woman's insecurity. Yes. Instead of telling women to go to the gym or get a bit healthy, they'll say, right, we'll just inject you with certain um, medication, we'll, you know, take you under surgery 
to make you look perfect. And I'm trying to break that barrier because, you know, a lot of females, they might be a bit big, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, just because somebody's big doesn't mean you could, you know, you deserve to disrespect them. You deserve to call them fat. You deserve to call them ugly. Because like I said, like Betty said, these people are mothers, daughters, sisters. When I look in the comment section, and a lot of the comments have nothing to do with what I said, yes. right? They're nothing to do with my ideology or my yes. views. Rather, yes. it's my personal appearance, right? Oh, she's too ugly. Oh, she's too fat. What's my appearance got to do with anything that I'm trying to say? You know, and I think that barrier definitely needs to be broken because I'm a thick-skinned person. But there are a lot of vulnerable girls out there that one slight comment can trigger something more. Your words are powerful. What you say can actually kill somebody. You know, and I feel like it's not highlighted enough because a lot of people say to us, well, if you don't like it, just go home. You know, if you don't like it, then why'd you come here? Instead of telling me to go home and be silent, you should tell the people to stop doing what they're doing. And I say this all the time. It's like telling a rape victim, it's your fault that you got raped, rather than telling the rapist to stop raping, you know? These people are definitely trying to silence us, and this is why I'm here. And I will continue to be here. And, you know, I'm happy to have both these ladies beside me here to speak. I don't know if you wanted to say anything, Rash, my sister. Well, you know, like, there's so many things I don't know if anyone's heard of, like, the Brazilian uh, butt lift, yeah. where now the women are having surgery, they're injecting silicone into their bodies in order to get the apple bottom. And so I was someone that died. It's unregulated, you know, in America, that's one of those things. So we have to be aware that if you constantly look at a woman and just value based on her looks, it's got real life consequences. You know, what they want to do is create a step with wives where everybody looks the same. You know, when you look in a fruit bowl and you look at apples, yeah? Then all the apples aren't the same colour. But now what we've got is an industry that is built on, on other people's insecurities, profiting of insecurities. Yeah. Everybody wants to look alike. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's beauty in diversity. Yeah. If God wanted us all to look alike, we would look alike. Yeah. Let us celebrate diversity. Yeah. You know what I mean? But not all men like the same thing, as all women don't like the same thing. Yeah. There is strength in diversity. You know, that's what we need to yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely I agree with you, Betty, there. You know, um, a lot of people like to, you know, they have this stereotypical of how you should look. Slim waist, big bum, big breast, big lips. That's not the realistic woman. No woman is born with a six pack. My body's probably more natural than somebody like Kim Kardashian. If a woman's got a bit of meat, that means she's eating right. You understand? If a woman is very, very skinny, she's got very tight waist and a big bum, that's not a realistic body. People don't people don't have bodies like that, you understand? Unless they go to the gym or unless they have surgery. You understand what I'm saying to you? So we have to be a bit realistic when it comes to women. You know, stop expecting a lot from the women. Stop setting up very high standards for females because then women will find themselves killing themselves to please society. And, it's, and it will never be enough. You know, you hear about these celebrities getting surgery and they get more and more and more yes. to the point their face starts to, dip, to, 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 you know, starts to get messed up, you understand? Natural beauty is not appreciated nowadays, you know? Let's, let's strip it back. I'm not telling you what to do, yeah? But this is just my opinion at the end of the day. But things that are happening within society do affect females to the point where people die. You yes. know, so if people are losing their lives, then somebody needs to speak the up about it. as well. The fertility, the fact of the matter is, when you look at these models, and when their body fat goes down so low where they no longer have a period and it affects their fertility where they're not able to have children so this image that you're, they're promoting in the media and the fashion industry is making them not even able to have children yeah. and without children the God said to go forth and multiply if a woman cannot have children then the human race will not continue yeah. so let us all the women stand up and stand up and be counted and to care for our fellow sisters. Yeah. That you you are more than just your body. You are your spirit. Yeah. Having a human experience. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think Betty just shut the house down now. I can't agree more what Betty said, you know. And, um, you know, big up to everybody that's out there listening to us. And I see a lot of females here. Yeah. And I hope that something that we have said resonates and kind of clicks in your head. And, you know, we'll be here every Sunday. Um, if anybody wants to meet up with us prior to coming in here out the gate, you're free for more than welcome. You can contact me on Instagram, Zabeda Ahmed1997, if you have any questions or anything. Because, like I said, I've come on camera quite a lot, and I, I, I don't want to be the only female voice. I want more sisters around me. I want to hear other women speak, you know? And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to pave the way for other females to speak. And, and luckily, Betty's come down here and. She spoke very eloquently, very intelligently, and I couldn't have said it any better. So, you know, on that note, 
be some blessings to everybody. Another thing I'd, I'd, I'd like to say as well, one of the things that we want to do is organise debates on different women's issues. You know, there are many issues from rape to um, poverty, things that especially affect women. Right now, if you look at the political climate, you look at the current cabinet, it's represented a lot of it by men. Yeah? Men make the rules and women are meant to live with it. Yeah? So it's really important that you stand up and be counted. The rights that you have today as a woman were laid down by the women that came before you. There are women that died in this country for women to have the right to vote. And how many women do not vote in this country today? You will not change society by being at home and doing nothing and waiting for someone else to do it. You have to be the change you want to see in this world. That's what you have to remember. What one of the words that Emily Panker said was deeds, not words. Deeds, not words, is what got women the right to vote. So, and what you do today, you do for your children that will go before you, go after, sorry, go after you, and their children, that you are valued as a woman. Nobody got on this planet without a woman. So I call on my sisters to come to this park every week, and any issue you want to discuss, we will discuss it. Whether we do it online, on the YouTube channel, whether we organize debates, come, whatever faith you are, Whatever colour you are, stand up and be counted. Stand up and be counted. Thank you. From your Come, man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. Yeah, I just wanted to say, I love you, I love you, I as all of you are aware, um, Modi, uh, it's all on the news, isn't it? So there's no point talking about it. But I'm just going to, if anyone doesn't watch the news, uh, basically, uh, 